together. You might have seen him on Comedy Central. Please welcome Vaughn Fry. <laughs> Hey, so I usually like to introduce myself. My name is Vaughn Fry. I'm 31 years old, single, unemployed. I live in my parents' basement, but I finally got a job. Yeah. Interview. <laughs> How dare the Mulvane Public Library have the good sense not to hire me? I would have stolen all their DVDs and sold them on eBay for a dollar with free shipping. It would have cost me money, but that's not the point. <laughs> I'm sending a message, and that message is, I forgot, but it was important at the time. So I've decided that I'm a superhero. You may know me better by my street name, Stay at Home Son. Uh, mutant ability to repel women. Damn sure can't afford a Batmobile, so after a long night of fighting crime on the mean streets of Derby, Kansas, I call my mom to pick me up. Speaking of strung out cokeheads from the 80s, you guys see this Captain America Civil War movie? It's uh, Captain America versus Iron Man culminate in some kind of feud that's played out in an airport in broad daylight. <laughs> <laughs> it is a election year, so it's, uh, you know, there's animosity, the nation's divided, this is how Hollywood cashes in on it, Superman versus Batman, <laughs> America versus Iron Man. You're supposed to pick a side, you team Iron Man, you team Captain. I guess I'm team Iron Man, just because I don't think Captain America is much of a hero. Uh, he was a runt in World War II, and he was the first guy to volunteer to use steroids. And then girls like him. And I just kind of feel like, hey, maybe that's cheating, bro. He should be suspended, maybe four movies. But if you think about it, you know, maybe taking performance enhancing drugs is the most American origin story of all superheroes. And that's why he's called Captain America. Now, for this next joke to work, you guys are going to have to at least pretend to be interested in the UFC, Ultimate Fighting Championship, MMA, mixed martial arts, that kind of stuff. You guys with me here? Okay. Yeah, you guys like UFC, right? Yeah. Me neither. So, uh, if I wanted to watch a bunch of underpaid truck drivers fight each other, I would just go to Denny's. And uh, these UFC guys, they're always decked out in tattoos. You notice this? It's their way of showing off how tough they are. They got an extra coat of armor, ink thick, and they're kind of saying, hey, I'm really tough here. Hey, don't bother checking, turn to choke me out, bro. Got a neck tattoo, very tough neck, you're wasting your time. But most of these fights, they're over way too fast. And in five seconds in the fight, one guy has the balls to kick the other one up in the head, knocks him out before he hits the ground, and then just for fun of it, walks over and gives him a good four punches in the face. And then the ref just kind of saunters by and goes, well, I guess he's had enough, and pulls him off. And you know why they do that, right? It's because the face doesn't have tattoos, and that's the weak spot. <laughs> So sometimes, uh, I, I do kind of cave. I'm like, well, you know what, the women are fighting. So I make an exception for the women fighting. You like to see the women fight in UFC? When the women fight, there's a 100% guarantee that I get to watch a woman get beat up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> deal. It's usually a white girl. There's not a lot of legal opportunities to see a white girl get the beating she deserves. $20 on pay-per-view? That's a tough bargain to beat right there. So people ask me how I stay skinny if all I'm eating is junk food, which is all I eat. And I'm thinking, well, I don't do anything too special. And I skip around the house a little bit. And then sometimes I pause and just throw a few punches, just quick one, two like that. And I'm careful not to hit anything, nothing important, just kids. Yeah. yeah, think about that. You know, We need a PSA on how, uh, how American can lose weight. You, know, you beat a few kids, it burns calories, the more you know. Do, 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 do. <laughs> One guy came up to me just the other day and he said, Hey, what do you do for a living? And I lied and told him stand up comedy. And then he said, How much for a blowjob? And then after that he said, Okay, tell me a joke, right? Because if you say you're a comedian, everybody wants you to prove it in five seconds. They don't do that to anybody else. Oh, uh, hey, you work at McDonald's? I right, approve it, man. You know, make me a Big Mac. No, don't go to the kitchen. Pull a Big Mac out of your drawers and I'll eat it. And if you're going to make me sick, I guess you work at McDonald's. That's who would lie about that. <laughs> hey, you say you're a lawyer, huh? Tell me yeah. some lawyering. I'll wait, you know. Oh, you're a UFC fighter, huh? Knock me out right here. Just kick me upside the head. 
make it easy for you. I don't even have any face tattoos. Hey, follow uh -huh. me on Twitter, Vaughn Fry. Thank you.